What's up, everybody? It's the Quarter Guy back with more of the Road to Mega Man 11 in a special episode. Well, special two, three parter, maybe? Before we move to the 16 bit era, let's take a look at, well, the 16 bit era. Now, right now, this is Mega Man The Wily Wars, a three part compilation, a compilation game of Mega Man 1, 2, and 3 which was available on the Sega Channel in the U.S. and not released in cartridge form in the U.S. It was released in cartridge form in Europe and also in Japan as Rockman Mega World. Now aside from Mega Man 1, 2, and 3, once you beat all three, you could access a special game called Wily Tower. And that's what we're going to be playing. Get a load of this. You metallic moron! I'm not finished with you yet. I still have a few hundred tricks up my sleeve. These three robots were specially designed to smash you like a, tw ti like a tin can. Try not to go to pieces, Mega Man. <laughs> These three special robots are the Genesis unit. Instead of a proper title screen, we're thrown right onto this uh, stage-like screen where we have Buster Rod G, Hyperstorm H, and Mega Water S. Now these three robots were based on characters from the Chinese novel Journey to the West. I'll go into detail on each one as we. Uh, as we get to there. All right, let's start with the, let's start with the leader of the bunch, Buster Rod G. Now I'm going to show you one thing that makes this unique. In this game, you have a choice of any loadout from the first 3 games. I'm gonna pick Bomb Man, Elect Man, Metal Man, Flash Man, Bubble Man, Crash Man, Hard Man, and for good measure, Fire Man. As far as items go, Rush Coil, Rush Marine, and Rush Jet. Alright. Let's go! Good luck, Mega Man. Alrighty, we're starting with the Hammer Joe. Wait, let me adjust something quick. Alright. Move. Up the ladder we go. Of course, all the enemies in this game are based on Meg are from Mega Man 1 through 3. Alright, let's let these cloud guys pass. Let's make this easier on ourselves with help from Rush. seem to work on enemies outside of Mega Man 2. Alright. Three 
Phil. Alright. Get past these snakes and get to the large one here. And the controller feels kind of cool. Alright. Firestorm of use there against these picket guys. Alright. Switch the leg. Oh! Darn it. Alright. Got right here. Let's see what's behind this door number one. Oh, hi, Janky Maker. One thing I never got about the Chanky Makers is why they didn't show up in, uh, in the Heat Man stage. Wouldn't it make sense for them? Alright. Got the E-Tank. Let's move. Alright, down this way. Care of this guy. Wait for it. Take out the baton time. We have all kinds of men the men's halls here. And here's Bossgate. It's time to take on Buster Rod G. Now he's named after Sun Wukong, also known as Sun Goku. Use that power ball of his. Ow. Better use that E tank. Alright. care of one. And that's one down. And the next one's coming up is Mega Water S. Now this guy is based off of Sha Wu Jing, also from Journey to the West. Now we're going to stick with the same items here. 
stick with that same loadout throughout the entirety of the Wily Tower, to be honest. Oh! My god. Alright, there we go. Recovering up from that embarrassment. Alright, down we go. And of course, it wouldn't be a one on water underwater Mega Man stage without death spikes. Alright, boom. Alright, just uh, There we go. And moving this way. Needle presses. And those, uh, death spikes go with them. Alright, let's go this way. Down further into the depths. Oh, hey! It's these shrimp guys again. That can only mean one thing. It's our old friend the fish. That takes and he goes down quickly with metal blades, but then again, very few enemies in Mega Man 2 don't get pulled by metal blades. Let's make things easier on ourselves here with the help from Rush. Bum, bum. Oh, it's these guys. And there's a hard knuckle bit barricade there. And what's up here? It's an e-tank! Gotta go get it. guys, and climb up the ladder here. Alright. I have trouble... I've always had trouble with small talk, and it's hard for me to fill time when... I'm trying to focus here. Actually, let's get that extra life. Yeah. Too uncomfortable there. Big fish! Whoops. Ooh! That's odd. That's... Ah! Rush is going to help me get that with life energy there. Ah! Not in time. All right, let's head up. And we're at the boss gate here. It's time for a boss fight with Mega Water S. Alright. Let's rock! Here we go! Now he's gonna spend a lot of his time up in the... Up on that platform up there. Oh. 
up the drop. Actually, you know what? I'll have to burst it. There we go. That high pressure stream of water there is not a good thing to deal with. There we go, he's dead. Victory. And that's gonna take us to the next one. Hyper Storm H. God, he's big. And he's based off Shou Hakai, another character. Alright, let's not waste time and move! Hello, Hammer Joes! Whoops. Alright. Just... Melt them with fire, and keep moving. little thing. There we go. You know what? Let's see if we can get up there with Rush. There we go. Always good to have your friendly dog handy. This guy here. Alright. Make our way up there. Deal with these guys. Bam, bam. Alright, wait for the eye. Wait for the eye. You know, I can always appreciate cultural references in video games. Spikes. 
And there's the boss gate. But this time we're heading down to face the boss. This is Hyperstorm H. Also known as Mr. Peg. Now, he has two health bars, but he has a very uh, finite pattern. First, there's the uh, trying to suck you in, and then he's trying to, and he'll try to blow you towards the wall while shooting at you. And then there's this jumping pattern. Where he takes down Mets from the uh, ceiling. Ah! All right, here we go again. All right, let's rock. All right. Just a quick turn. chances. A little more. One more. Oh, that was close. Too close for comfort, might I add. And, well, that takes care of that. And that's going to open up the Wily Tower itself. But we'll take care of that next time. Until then, with the rest of the road to Mega Man 11, this is the Quarter Guy, signing out. <laughs>for watching the road to Mega Man 11. You can always donate to my Extra Life campaign and support the Children's Hospital of Wisconsin by clicking the link below. If my campaign reaches $250 by the time Mega Man 10 finishes up, I'll add Mega Man and Base to the Let's Play as well. Thanks for watching, and until next time, this is the Quarter Guy, signing out.